blinking lights. <laughs>
And our last demo um, is my favorite. Um, so for the computer scientists in the room, um, this is a physical bubble story. What they're going to do is they're going to put themselves <laughs> in an escorted order um, based on lowest ID, which is this one right here. That's, by the way, how the leader is selected. Um, the leader is selected not based on anything I do. It's based on who everyone um, is the lowest ID, which means whoops. Which means um, which everyone um, has never received a message from a robot that's less than it. Okay, so now I'm going to tell them to form a straight line. So all the robots with IDs, so every robot um, is going to figure out am I the lowest? No, because I've got a message from robot three. Likewise, uh, likewise, one of them is going to figure out am I the highest, and it's, that one's going to be no one's the highest. All the other ones are either the lowest or the highest, so they're going to look for the highest ID less than them and the lowest ID greater than them. That's their successor and their predecessor in the scoring order. They're going to physically move between that, that gives a straight line segment, and then if they're all doing that by induction, they a globally straight line. So off we go. There's your highest ID. It's 113, I think, indeed. And all the other ones are doing their best to get themselves um, arranged. And they've done a pretty good job. Never works that well. Well, since that... <laughs> since that works so well, I got to do what any self-respecting engineer would do, which is mess with it. And the worst possible thing I can do is what I just did. Um, and now they have to then resort themselves. Um, so the little sounds are here. Those are robots who are bad neighborhoods. They can't find a predecessor or they can't find a successor. And uh, the guy kind of worked out. One of the things you have to embrace with multi neural systems um, is that you have to have kind of a zen with this whole thing. Um, <laughs> it may not happen exactly the way you want. That robot may be tied to a knot. It may look like a fool up here on stage. Um, but as long as you wait long enough, um, as long as the system does not have any um, systematic errors, um, it gets caught behind um, a wall that can't get out of, it may fall into a rut. Um, then, well, eventually, we'll have victory. Excellent. Well, there's no demo. <laughs>